If you use Linux, then you've probably used the sudo command at least once in your life. Because sudo command is a very really essential command to basically run any sort of program as a root. For example, I can do a sudo pacman-sy, which will basically sync my pacman database. And pacman can do this without a root access. So you use sudo to give the pacman command root access. But there's actually an alternative to sudo, and it's way better, and it's called duas. Now, duas was first a program in OpenBSD, and it's a very secure program. I'll talk about the benefits of duas or sudo later. But right now, if I just do a duas s pacman syu, then it's basically going to start updating my system. So you can see that it's going to start that system upgrade. Now, the way you install Duas is very simple. You just do a pacman-s on Arch Linux, open Duas. And that's the name of the package. And on apt or DNF, it should be the same exact name. Same for other repos as well, like open SUSE, right? And once you install Duas, you can actually just use it like this. But you need to first have a configuration for Duas. And the configuration is located in etcduas.conf, so you can edit that with sudo edit. Now sudo edit is actually a sudo thing. It basically uses your default editor, which you can set in your, which you can set in your uh, zsh rc or bash rc, and you can simply use it to edit a file. And it, for now, it just says editing symlinks is not uh, permitted. So you'd probably use something like a sudo dollar sign editor etcduas.conf for that let's see how it works it says uh, emacs client is not found let's just do emacs we can see the duas configuration here now the thing about the duas configuration is that it's a lot more simple than the sudo configuration and duas itself is very more very simple than sudo and all you need to do in your configuration is just add this in. Now this is assuming that your user is in the view group, which it probably is. If you installed any sort of distro like, I don't know, Ubuntu, anything like that, your uh, user will probably be in the view group on uh, Arch Linux. It should also be in the view group if you po follow the installation correctly, but I'm pretty sure you can do something like user mod g arc to go ahead and uh, modify your user or right? you have to execute that with sudo but uh, once you did do that it should add you to the wheel group and basically what it says is that it's gonna give permit so permission no pass and then colon wheel now colon wheel is basically the group we're giving permission to and we're basically giving no password permission that means that if I just do a do as pacman dash syu then it's actually not gonna ask for stuff like my duas password because for me i'm the sort of guy where oh i log into my desktop with my password why do i need to enter it again and i also mess up my password a lot of time when i'm recording so it's really useful to just not use the password here but i recommend using the password the way you use the password there with etcduas.conf is that you simply add in here persist and when you add persist then it's basically going to use your password so i don't like doing that i'm just going to say don't save yes and that's how you install duas it's pretty easy now let's talk over the benefits of duas over sudo duas is a very simple and minimal and that's the main benefit of duas over sudo it doesn't have lots of bloatware installed with it it's only a couple hundred lines of code compared to the thousands of code that sudo has and since it is a smaller code base it's obviously going to be way more secure security as well it's a very secure alternative to sudo and everyone should be using it i have no idea why sudo is the industry standard when duas is way better anyways that's how you install sudo duas anyways that's how you install duas and use it and the benefits of it or sudo I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you later.